student from Kang Cruz Junior High School. And today I'm really excited to take you on a fun ride of the world of coding, especially for the game development one. And in this video, we will not only just be learning the theory, but we will create a game also in this video together. So what are we waiting for now? Buckle up and let's get started. So oh, what is coding? Well, coding in a simple definition defined as communicating with computer. Yeah, that's all. But there is a problem because the computer doesn't understand about our language. So how do we communicate with the computer if the computer doesn't understand about our language? So that is why we need to use the programming language. Now, what is programming language? Programming language is a language that we can use to communicate with the computer. And like in the human world, our language is not only one, right? It has a lot. Well, that is also the same for programming language. It is not only one, but there are a lot. Such as Python, JavaScript, CSS, C++, C Sharp, and many more. Now, let's start our first chapter, Game Development. I'm really sure that all of you here definitely already have played a game before. Maybe like Mobile Legend, Minecraft, Roblox, Free Fire, and so on. But, have you ever wondered how to create a game? Like, is it possible to create our own game by our own? Well, the answer is yes, it is possible. How? Well, let's figure it out in this video right now. So, firstly, to create a video game, we need an asset. Like the character, the music, the sound effect, the background, the map, and everything that you can think about it. Then just attach it with the script. And that is how to create a video game. Now let's talk and let's see about what programming language and what game engine that we could use to create our own video game. Well, in this current era, it has a lot of programming languages and a lot of game engines that we could use to create a game. For example, game engines like Godot, Unity, Unreal, and Roblox Studio. Programming languages, for example, like Java, Lua, Programming, C++, and Python, my favorite. Now, what should we choose? Well, if it is literally depends on your opinion, okay? But for now, we will going to use the basic and the easiest and the most efficient way to learn about game development called Scratch. By the way, before we started, let's turn to the programmer mode. Programmer mode on. Now, we're ready. So, let's get in. Alright, so step one, we need to search scratch. Alright, then we need to click this one and click start creating. And after it, we just need to wait and boom, we are currently now has opened the scratch. Alright, now maybe you are thinking, like, what is the game we want to create actually right now? Well, the game we want to create right now is literally a Flappy Bird game. Yes, this game. I'm really sure that you have played this game before, right? Well, today is the day we will try to recreate it back. So, let's get to the next step. Step 2. Add the assets. So, for all the assets, for all the graphics, you can just grab it from Google or maybe you can just download it in this video description below. Then, after you have done all of it, if you have downloaded all the graphics, the assets, the thing that you need to do is only add all the assets to the scratch. But how? Well, just like this. So, firstly, let's just close this one and let's do this one and just click this button for add this part or the character, the graphics. 
Okay. So let's do. So let's add the base and the bird. All right. And the background. Background. All right. After you have add all the graphics to the game. Well, the thing that you need to do next is just design it your platform. So let's design. All right, next, step three, scripting. So first, create two variables called score and gravitational acceleration. Next, let's code the pipe. So here's the code. This makes the pipe keep moving to the left. After that, let's work on the bird. So first, add a simple gravity code so the bird falls. Then, add the jump code so it can fly. We click the space bar. Now, we have basically recreate the flappy bird game. Yes, congratulations, but anyway, let's just try the game first, okay? Hmm, I guess there is something missing in our project, in our game. You know what? Yes, you're right. Where is the animation? Where is the sound? Where is the game over screen? And where is the collision? ground code i mean the yeah what is it so you know what let's upgrade our project so first let's add a new variable called hit the base so this variable is used to detect when the bird hits the ground then we have to add the game over tags after it let's add the sounds so for a hit and wings on effect for the bird and for point sound effect for the pipe and last one die sound effect for the game over text next let's update the bird's code so here's the code so this code is used to show the game over text and stop the game if the fluffy hits the ground and also let's add the code for the game over tabs itself, like this. Finally, the last one, let's add the start sound blocks to the pipe like this one. And that's it! Congratulations, because you have recreated the Flappy Bird game as your first game. Good job guys, awesome work! And that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and also learn a lot of things about the world of coding, especially for the game development. I'm Winner, a student from Cambridge Junior High School and see you later, bye!